Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. In this video, I'll talk about using a tone generator to add low end to your kick drum. This is a technique that I learned in school. We used it on a SSL console. I'll show you the user manual. Uh, it had a oscillator built into the um, center section and it was used for testing the channel strips and the master section for distortion, for the correct levels and things like that. Just a really simple tone generator at 50, 100, 220, 440, 1K, 3K, 10K, and 15K frequencies, just sine waves. So it was helpful for testing, but you could also patch it into channels um, and then use the onboard dynamics so that it triggers whenever the an input on the side chain. So in the example of kick, uh, there's a signal on the kick track that sends into the side chain of the track beside it where the oscillator is coming in, the gate opens, and you get an extra low end boost at 50 Hertz. So pretty cool technique. It's not something you ever hear people talk about. Everyone emulates the track dynamics at EQ or they emulate the dynamic section, but no one has put in this oscillator trick. For this trick, you don't need SSL plugins. You just need a tone generator, which comes with Reaper, and a gate, which also comes with Reaper. Here's our drum tracks. Sounds pretty solid, but it could use more low end on that kick. So I'm going to insert a new track beside my kick track. So we're looking at tracks one and two. Let's just name it first. So kick, sub. And on this track, we're going to insert the JS, let's search for it, tone generator. I'll mute the track for now so it's not annoying us with a 440 tone. Just like the SSL, we can set this to 50 hertz. And we're going to turn off the dry mix. So that means that the signal coming in from the kick that we're going to route through it is not going to also come through. So this track is just a 50 hertz tone now. Meaty. So now we need a gate. So we're going to go over to the Cocos folder and we're going to grab E gate and add it to the same track. All right, so we have our tone generator up here and then we have the gate after it. I'm going to set this to auxiliary input left and right going to drag from the routing button of the kick track onto the plugin. That's going to automatically set up four channels for this track. It's going to route the kick track into the sub kick track on input three and four. So we won't hear the kick on uh, input one and two. It's going right to the sidechain input of the gate. We're going to put this up at Unity, and we're also going to put this at Prefader because we want a really consistent tone that doesn't depend on uh, what we're doing with the kick as far as volume. We want independent control. We can automate it later. Anyways, Prefader, Unity Gain, Audio 1, 2 goes to Audio 3, 4. Now, in our uh, gate plugin, we're going to have to set the threshold to match the kicks transient. So, so if we unmute this track, we can see that the tone generator is generating tone, but the gate is stopping it. I'm going to bypass the gate and that tone comes through. All right. So if we play the track now, solo these tracks, and I'm going to pull down the dry kick. Something like that, add a little bit longer hold. If the attack's too short, it's going to add a click, so we want that at least one millisecond. Really long, it's more pillowy soft. 
The default is three milliseconds works really well for this. Let's adjust the hold and release. If we, we can set this really long. Or pretty short. So let's uh, blend those two tracks together. Dry kick. Unlike the SSL console, we have complete control over which frequency is being generated. Uh, we're not limited to the preset 50, 100, 220, etc. We can set this to 40, and I think it will suit the track a little bit better. And let's bring that in, mixing it in with the rest of the drums. Muting the subtrack. Bring it back in. So there you go, it just adds in a lot of low end that wasn't originally there in your microphone. You can't always EQ it in if it doesn't exist. But now we have this big, meaty low end. Pretty simple trick, really. You can do a lot of creative things with this trick. This is just kind of the classic application of doing this. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.